Good morning, Mrs. Deesdale. We spoke yesterday. Yes, I remember. You asked me to call about 11? You didn't walk all the way from town, did you? Uh, yes, I had some other but errands. But it's such a long way. It's no problem, Mum, I assure you. No problem at all. I must ask my husband to drive you back. We have a new motor car, you know. <laughs> but come. I trust you found them as I described. Exceptional quality considering the price. All genuine, of course. Hmm. Just hold on one moment. I shall have to ask my husband. Arthur, dear, it's the man with the crockery. It's lovely, just like Wendy's, but nicer. What's his name? Who? The man at the door, of course. What's his name? It's Arvind, ma'am. George Ernest. We have no dealings with cowards. Cart took a direct hit. Blown to bits. You're right, Arben. George. George. George, are you listening? Sorry, Charlie. Read it again. Recent letters from France indicate that Saturday last at Boulogne, the sentence of death was pronounced on four conscientious objectors for refusing to obey military orders. It is understood that the sentence of death by shooting was later commuted to ten years penal servitude by General Sir Douglas Haig. Ten years. The business is suffering hugely. Emily is being gravely mistreated around town. She suffers terribly. If your husband had any courage... And what is courage exactly? If we cannot hold to our convictions? Arben. George Ernest. And we have shown great courage thus far. There's no shame now. This way, please, sir.
Supposing the enemy invaded your town, would you use force to resist them? I would leave it in the hands of God. But should they threaten your wife and child, would you use force? I would not take up a rifle. Never mind the rifle. If a German soldier was trying to kill your wife and child, would you stand idly by? It is a hard question. It is a fair question. Would you use force? Yes or no? Arwen, did you hear what I said? I said the wagon's been hit. I can't stay here. Well, answer the question. It's up to us then. Come on. It's a long walk ahead. You say it is my Christian duty. And I will serve my king and country, but only to save life and not to take it.